Accessible exit ahead to 65 Street and Columbus Avenue and Lincoln Center. The phone provides all kinds of information to commuters. For Sharada, it helps her see what's ahead. She holds up the phone. The camera, through a designated app, reads these signs with digital codes installed by the MTA. That generates audio directions and descriptions. Now they're up at the 66th Street Lincoln Center station with more places to come after a test period. New signage and wayfinding decals are on the platform. The funding that we've gotten now, which will be really good, that we've got more input from the public and the advocates on how these things are used. What are some of the glitches? We are far behind. We have so long, so far to go. You know, um, I encourage the public to give your opinions, to let MTA know. They listen to what we are saying. They don't just give lip service, yeah, yeah. No, they're really paying attention. The number of elevator projects has set a record the past few years. We're doing 12 to 15 a year. That has never been done at the MTA before. The stations of the future will also have new turnstiles. Some changes are already in place and being tested. MTA engineers designed an in-house fix that prevents the metal bar from being moved back which is how some riders slip through without paying. Fare evasion costs the agency about $600 million a year. That means some improvement projects, such as elevators or for accessibility, can't happen. Over the next one to two years, you will notice more changes at the turnstiles. Expect to see more immediately those accessibility upgrades, including elevators. More than 70 projects are currently in the pipeline.